We've got 40 for lunch. Smashing away when ready, one Barbary duck, two cannelloni till 24, please. Two navrana lamb service, one mash, one green salad. We should be two minutes away on. Yes, Chef. Sospan Restaurant in Llanelli's North Dock opened three years ago in a redeveloped Grade 2 listed former industrial pump house. At the heart of the kitchen is Sean Rees, a passionate advocate of local produce and of doing things her own way. All the meat comes in raw, everything comes in as raw ingredients, so they actually have to do bone-in, fillet-in, everything needs doing within the establishment. We use everything from Phillips's lamb that's on top of the hill for our fruit and veg and the Gower salt marsh lamb when it's in season is Priscelli Bluestone and obviously most of our beef comes from local as possible. We know from field to plate exactly where it's come from. When you were in London you were relying on people telling you where stuff has come from but here you can actually physically see it. <laughs> Sean is originally from nearby Kidwelly and started her career by gaining NVQ qualifications at college in Pibberloid in Carmarthen. But at 16, Sean was on her way to London to work in the iconic Claridge's Hotel. There was nowhere down here. You were told when you first enrolled at Pibberloid, you either go to London or you go to Paris or you'll end up nowhere. So that was your guidance. So as soon as that, I went to Claridge's, a brigade of 54 chefs, in you go. If I didn't take that leap, I wouldn't be where I am. I was there four and a half years, so I started a second commie and I finished as a chef de party. Sean then moved to Michelin-starred French restaurant The Oreni in Marleybone. Smashing away when ready. I wanted to work in restaurants, and restaurants where I wanted to end up with and own my own one day. So then I started as a demi-chef and I made my way up to Junior Souda. But then I take on the costings, learn how the business works within itself and also the day-to-day -day running of a kitchen at end up being left in charge of it. It was three years later when Sean joined Jeff Galvin at Les Gargot before helping Jeff and brother Chris open their new restaurant, Bistro Deluxe in Baker Street. It was during this time that she was headhunted by the team behind Sospan, a new venture in the old industrial North Dock area of her hometown, Llanelli. Sean was initially very sceptical. I remember the area being really derelict. It was not the nicest of areas to be and people just would race their cars around you. The, the beach wasn't nice. It was, I thought, oh, you're having a laugh. <laughs> it was a whole challenge of reopening the restaurant. Being on the, the Galvin's opening the restaurant is kind of some, how you think, okay, I won't do it that way, we'll do it better. Students from her old college at Pibor Lloyd, part of Colleg Sirgar, have been a central part of the saucepan kitchen from the outset, with some having remained and worked alongside Sean and partner Ian throughout. Current students Daniel and Dylan are the latest to learn from Sean at the heart of the kitchen. I nurture them a little because they can't just be left because that's a bit unfair. But at the same point, I don't believe they should be at the back prepping all day. I'm not going to get anything out to them and nobody's, nobody else is. So it's kind of like they're up, they have to take responsibility for a section. Experience in the kitchen is just, I don't think, you, you can't get that from college because oh, you don't get like 30 or 40 covers, that's when you're sort of tested. Is it? Because this is a real situation, like if you ruin it, it's, it's ruined someone's meal. Considering I barely knew how to hold a knife, when I came, I, Sean's definitely helped me. The best thing about Sean being the head chef is that she's been there. She's managed to go from Wales into big London restaurants and make her way back and be successful. During her time back in Wales, Sean has seen a big development in the Welsh food industry, with customer tastes becoming more adventurous. When we opened, we could only sell chicken breasts. A chicken breast or well done beef. Now everyone's actually coming in, they'll try the beef cheek, so come in and try other things, you get renowned for it. Food is fashion. Food's fashion without, through, within colleges, and you see a lot more youngsters actually eating out. And it's coming now, they're bringing in the fashion of it. Mentoring youngsters and doing so in Wales is clearly important to Sean, but she believes that they should be under no illusion about the hard work required. A lot of people have got this fantasy 
about catering, they come in, they're able to do everything, they're able to, it's a walk in the park and then when the reality hits they've never had a job in it and it's kind of the first few weeks you see it in their face and it's like you're not going to last. If you put in 100% you're going to get 100% out. If you put in 50% you're not going to go very far. But for Sean, there couldn't be a better career than a career in food. I enjoy the pressure of it. I always have. Obviously, like, I love food. Obviously, I bring my children into it. They're at home, they're filleting fish, they're watching us filleting fish. I think that's the passion everyone should have if they want to be in this. Because if you've got passion about it, your food's going to be good.